Welcome back friends. In this video, I'll be talking about DNA fingerprinting and its application in forensic sciences. What are the steps that involve in it? Before going to discuss it in detail, first we should know about VNTRs, mini satellites, that I already explained in last video. So stay tuned and continue to watch this video. As I earlier explained in last video, mini satellite is a short tandem repeats that vary from person to person and these variations in different people cause polymorphism. That means in a particular locus of the chromosome, if individual 1 have sequence repeat 6 times, the same locus of individual 2 have sequence repeat 8 times. These repeats are known as VNTRs, variable number tandem repeats. So DNA fingerprinting is a method of isolating genome and identify variable repeats. It is also known as DNA typing, DNA profiling, genetic fingerprinting, genotyping or identity, identity testing. Technique was developed by Alex Zafri in 1984. He used satellite DNA called as VNTRs as a probe in this technique because these VNTRs showed the highest level of polymorphism. So let's understand this technique in detail. First we isolate the DNA from the hair and blood samples and digest it with restriction endonucleases. Digested DNA fragments are separated in agrose gel by technique known as electrophoresis. If you can see larger and smaller fragments are resolved. Then we transfer the DNA band from the gel to nitrocellulose membrane by a technique called as southern blotting. Further, we incubate the membrane with radioactive VNTRs probe and these probes bind to a specific DNA sequence on the membrane which further expose to X-ray film. These X-ray film is developed to make visible the DNA band patterns that is known as DNA fingerprinting. Let's take one example of crime scene to understand this technique properly. If you can see the banding pattern of victim and the specimen that we have got from the crime scene is completely different and also we have DNA fingerprinting of three different suspects. It is clear that suspect 1 is accused because DNA profiling of suspect 1 and the specimen are same. Another application of DNA fingerprinting is identity testing. If you see child 1, child 2 and child 3 show similar DNA band pattern with adult 1 and adult 3. It suggests that fingerprinting of children should be similar to those of parents. This technique gives better understanding which individual are the parents of specific children. Thank you and happy learning.